Hey guys, it's M4 Airsofter A1, and this is my ACU, well, of course, slash UCP um, loadout. Uh, ACU is like the Army Combat Uniform, but then UCP is this type of camouflage, which everyone calls ACU. But really, it's called UCP, it's Universal Camouflage Pattern. Um, I have the standard issue pants, jacket, and boonie, but I'll go down my whole body. I know you can't see my whole body right now, but um, I'll move my tripod so you can see it. Um, or, yeah, tripod. Um, so I'll start off with the head and go to the feet and then we'll work outside in. Starting off, I have a ACU slash uh, UCP uh, boonie. Um, I like these better than the patrol caps because I think they have more all-around coverage. And of course they have a little molly in there. I don't, I don't use the molly on the uh, hats, but sometimes people put a little CO2 in there or a shotgun shell. Um, sometimes just for looks. So moving on. Um, some places require face uh, cover, so if they allow it, I wear my uh, green um, schmog. If they don't allow it, I wear this um, just like face cover, and then I just wear my glasses over top of that. Um, another thing, I'm not using, I'm not like showing you the glasses in this video, nor am I showing you the guns. This is just the gear. Okay, um, keep moving down. I have a tan one-point bungee sling. Uh, one thing I would add about, like, if, uh, I think this is Condor. Let me check. No, this is Diamond Tactical. My bad. Um, but one thing I would have them change about this is maybe put a little padding on the inside of the sling so it's less tension on your neck. I usually have my Shemog so that, like, takes it off, but, uh, sometimes it digs into your neck. But besides that, it's a great sling. Um, I don't like using it with my AK, um, but with my Masada, I love it. Moving on. This is my play carrier that you guys saw in my previous videos if you watched them. I don't have any mags in there right now because I'm converting from AK to uh, M4. Uh, I think I only added two things. Um, I added the regular, not reverse, American ACU subdued flag patch. That's not ACU, but it's like subdued. And then I took off the OD pouch, uh, AK pouch, and or M4, and I add on the uh, pouch that came with the plate carrier. And then I have these two little zip ties here, small one and a big one that actually goes all around my back. Um, I see those guys, like see the zip ties on other guys' loadouts and on the actual soldiers, so I added that. Everything else is the same. I got my little speed loader, walkie-talkie. On the back, I have it. Uh, like nothing there besides the lower pouch. Uh, I believe you guys can see that. Let me uh, turn it down a little bit. Yeah, the lower pouch. I have nothing on the back area because um, I only I usually carry a hydration carrier, and the, I only use the hydration carrier when it's a really hot summer day. Otherwise, I just take a little canteen. And of course, it's a field loadout, not a uh, CQB for my CQB. I usually just run with my uh, battle belt. But let me take this off so we can keep going down. Okay, going down a little farther. Let me turn the camera down. Sorry, I have to keep adjusting it. But going down farther, I have my tan battle belt. The reason why I have a tan sling and a tan battle belt, battle belt is because I use these things with my marine loadout along with this loadout. Um, I'd rather just do that instead of spending more money. I have a crappy crossman holder on the left side. Try not to offend anybody who likes this holster, but I think it's crap. Um, I just use my my uh, CO2 non-blowback pistol in there. Um, it does a job, but it's not that nice. Um, and then all the molly, as you guys can see, I can add stuff, so when I'm running a lightweight kit for CQB, or it's just a night game where you want anything like jingle, or um, like making noise, I run this, and I'll just put all my pouches along this, and this is more lightweight. Uh, I think you guys can see it. My uh, link pad, <laughs> I hit the trick again, my bad guys. Keep going down, you guys can see my ACU, or UCP, uh, drop leg holster, I carry my PT-99 in there. My Taurus, and then a little pouch where I put C uh, CO2 um, cartridges or car yeah cartridges in there. 
extra mag hold, and then I'll pop these guys off so you guys can keep going down. Ah, I didn't even hit that one. I got this right uh, regular ACU slash UCP knee pads. These are not issued. The only thing issued is my boonie and my uniform. Uh, these are not that nice knee pads, but they get the job done. So let's keep going. Sorry, I have a little bit of a rush because my uh, battery is about to die. Okay, so this is my regular uniform. I'm not wearing boots right now because um, I have to get new ones. I'll probably get the Army Standard issued, but I might get the Marine style. Uh, I like the Marines one better, but I think the Armies are cheaper. This is the issued, my pencil is a little big, sorry about that. This is the issued um, uniform. I have my Captain Patch, you know, a United States Army, uh, my last name. And then I updated some arm patches. I have, of course, the reverse flag. And then I have a 75th Ranger Regiment patch, 101st Airborne patch. And on the left, Special Forces patch, Airborne ta uh, tab, Ranger tab, and Special Forces tab. Um, I actually like these a lot. The uh, Marine style is a little bit less uh, technical with their stuff. Uh, nothing's really Velcroed. Everything is like sewed on to the side pouches like this. There, uh, there's no sh little Velcro part for your rank. And one thing I like about the Army uniform is that it's Velcro then zipper. Um, that's one thing I love about it. The Marine one's button. And I think it's, it takes a lot longer to get on and off, which is not too much of a hassle, but say you have to deploy really quickly, then it'd probably be a little hassle. Um, the pants, not bad. Um, when I get the um, multi-cam, I'll probably get better pants instead of the issued ones. But Velcro pants, you don't have to do the crappy unbuttoning. Uh, just a pocket, really. It's nothing special. Like Some of the new multi-cam ones have little M4 uh, mags in the pockets there. These don't have those. But I got, uh, you got one pouch here, of course, and then going down you have a uh, side leg pouch, which is about the size of M M4 mag, so I guess you could use that as an M4 holder, but anything else you need. Back pockets, now the back pockets or pockets are, are buttoned, so I usually just keep those open so I get in there really quickly. Uh, besides that, I do like ACU a lot. Um, I think I've already said this in my other videos, I wish we stayed with ACU, but Multicam is better, and uh, in my opinion, when it blends in. So, um, everyone's, ev uh, including I, uh, but everyone's switching to Multicam, which I will be doing. Um, my Masada should be coming in a couple weeks. Um, I'm getting a black version, not the tan. I was going to get the tan, but um, they didn't have any PMAGs in tan. That for the place I was buying off of, so I didn't feel like hassling with other websites. So I just getting a black one with the black PMAGs. Um, I believe I'm getting Masada off of um, yeah I yeah, am off of Airsoft GI, along with Tan Magpul, just um, uh, Magpuls I guess you call. Them. Um, and then I'm getting the black PMAGs off of Airsoft Megastore, and I'm getting a tactical red dot. Uh, from Airsoft Mega Store. So those are just some updates. Um, that's pretty much it. I think I'll be getting a new ruck rucksack so I can get all this stuff in my rucksack and then go to a game or a battle or whatever you want to call it. Um, but that is my like heavy duty ACU slash UCP loadout. Um, and, uh, upcoming loadouts will probably be Marine style. I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, I might buy multi cam. But it's going to be later in the summer. It's not, uh, it, this is uh, February, but uh, it's definitely going to be later in the summer for the other um, multicam. I'm getting a full tan loadout, uh, not the uniform, but the loadout for my Marine in about a month. Um, and I'll probably use that tan gear with the multicam uniform so I don't have to buy all new multicam stuff, even though the Army does use multicam gear. But besides that, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please